Yeah, that's not going to end well. Well, good evening, Glue Troopers. And uh, first off, yes, I am drinking coffee in the evening. Timmy's to be specific. Thank you, Bob and Val, for sending that to me. Mm. I got up 4 a.m. East Coast, 3 a.m. Uh, Central Time this morning up in Nolens and flew all day, deadheaded, and then drove back here. And I uh, just wanted to say thank you because it's always nice to come home to a couple of packages. Uh, the first one was from Bob and Val and it included uh, some Timmy's he promised to send me. And the other one is from uh, Kuda Killa. Kuda Killa. Oh, Caleb, I hope I'm saying that right. Kuda Killa. Anyway, uh, he sent me a couple of things. One was a uh, book uh, about the aircraft, uh, you know, airplane city over in Wichita, Kansas, which is, of course, is where most general aviation aircraft are, are made in America. And, of course, he sent me this little uh, Bambi thing to go with my Godzilla. And if anybody didn't catch the reference at the beginning, I'll put a link below. But I'm sure you've all seen uh, Bambi meets Godzilla. But anyway, at some point when time comes, I'll see if I can't get around to using that in the right proper diorama. Which brings me kind of to the next thing I was going to talk about. Uh, you guys are aware that uh, the airlines, all of them, have kind of been melting down. Manpower shortages, over committing the route structure, etc, etc, etc. Mine's no exception. I have not been able to drop a single day of work. So right now I'm doing like four or five on, I just came off a five day trip, then two days off, then right back to work, which is really cutting in to my building time, which unfortunately has resulted in a whole bunch of projects that have stalled. Most of you guys have probably seen me uh, talk about these projects over the past couple of weeks and none of them made any progress. I've well, been gone for five days for one thing. And uh, of course, the, the, the videos I made, I actually took my information, emailed it to myself so I could make the Panda video on the road. That was made on my phone, by the way. Uh, and the little one I knocked out while I was dead heading back today because uh, the Wi-Fi was able to pick up enough signal I could download some pictures. <laughs> and it's just, that's what I'm having to do. I mean, I mean, I love, you know, doing the road builds and things like that and putting videos together on the road, but normally the history videos are done on my computer at home where I can, uh, you know, be a little bit more elaborate with them. But uh, in this case, uh, and by the way, you know, I got dinged for a copyright claim and just because I had some uh, old uh, uh, New Zealand folk song going in the background, but oh well, there you go, the interweb. So, uh, the next thing I wanna talk about is the uh, live stream. Uh, it will be tomorrow, 7 p.m. East Coast as normal, 2300 Zulu. Uh, I'll be out doing things with the wife because we've been away for five days and uh, we'll get all of our family chores and stuff done. Then I'll do that. Sunday, maybe I'll get a little bit of building in, but then I just got to get ready to go right back to work. And it's going to be this way for a while. With the pilot shortage the way it is, we're, we're, I'm, we're just not able to drop anything. I'm going to see what I can do to adjust my schedule. But, uh, you know, I put down, I want these days off, men's schedule, but they're like, look, we got to cover the flying. And there you go. And, you know, the, the money's nice, but uh, I, I'm getting to that point where I'd really rather have the time off. So, anywho, whoa, oh, whoa, was me. Got to go fly jets <laughs> and build models and make videos. Oh, uh, listen to me, line. First world problems, eh? Well, uh, we, I've got a few subject matters, I'm not going to get into them now, but uh, a couple of things to talk about the live stream, a lot of it, because I'm not going to have a whole lot of time to prepare, so a lot of it's going to be what you guys want to talk about. If you got something you want to ask, shoot me a, uh, uh, an email, maxismodels.yahoo.com. By the way, uh, I've been getting a lot of emails that I have not responded to yet. Don't worry if you're sending me an email and I haven't responded to it, I'm just backed up on everything. I'm not even sure when I'm going to find the time to finish my own airliners and Canadian stuff for my own airliner build. Um, I'm not going to push the date back, though. Uh, the, the whole idea behind the Convair was supposed to be a quick and easy build just as an insurance to make sure I had something done before time ran out. But I'll get it done. I'll, I'll make the time. And uh, that's where we are with that. I want to thank everybody for all the nice uh, uh, comments and everything and the usual good stuff. I look forward to seeing you at the live stream. And before we get going, I was having a chat with someone in the model industry today, and we'll probably talk about this at length in the, in the live stream. It seems like 
kit model companies. We, we, I did a little video today on the uh, the Marusan Albatross that had uh, been repopped in 172nd scale. Apparently Marusan had done a, an Albatross, uh, one Albatross in 150 scale uh, back about 63. And then it did pretty well. So when 172 started becoming the dominant scale for a lot of modelers, they decided instead of recutting one, you know, just slightly off, you know, a little bit bigger than 148, let's just go on to 172. And, but apparently that thing was uh, marketed in 68, which was the year they got out of models, which is why I haven't been able to find any picture of the Morris on 172nd scale Albatross. But I don't know if they contracted the shots out to some of the companies or if they uh, actually sold the molds. I, I know that Fuji ended up with the molds, or supposedly Fuji ended up with the molds at some point. So the shots that were done for Eldon might have been done by uh, Marasan on contract, because Eldon only popped it for a couple of years. Then uh, Fuji got some, uh, well, Nishimo, Nishimo got them, but I don't know if they ever actually took possession of the molds, or again, they were made on contract. Fuji got them, I believe they, I think they actually had the molds. And then, uh, of course, they made them on contract for Sunny in Japan and for Panda in New Zealand. Again, not the Panda that exists today. And uh, then, of course, the molds apparently uh, changed hands again. Eshi actually got them. And then Eshi Ertl and the, as one person put it, the unholy alliance between Eshi and Ertl that uh, made a kind of maybe not a real good fit. But that mold that was first uh, supposedly popped in 68 was still being made in the 90s. And I wouldn't be shocked if someone's still using it today. Just a little side note. Well, guys, that's all I got for now. We'll see you at the live stream. Take care of yourselves. And as always, model on. Yeah, I drink coffee in the evenings. Don't judge. Mm. Ah, Timmy is good. Uh, oops, I'm supposed to grab both of them. Wesley Wabbit.